Hey guys, okay, so let me talk about a few things and I'm gonna show you what I got here. But first of all, I wanna talk about ketogenics. Let me tell you what I know. First of all, there was a man, I don't remember his name, but I can look it up on the internet if you need to know. Uh, he discovered that you can starve a cancer cell. That's right, you can starve a cancer cell by not feeding it glucose. So if you remove sugar, and if you can remove as much carbs out of your life as possible, uh, you lower your glucose, which causes a cancer cell to starve. If you don't believe me, he won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1931 for discovering that. Why nobody's ever talked about it since then, I have no idea. But ketogenics is a great way of eating. Uh, it's very, very, very low carbs, high fats, uh, natural fats like butter and heavy whipping cream and uh, bake it. You can cook lard and bacon grease and all that, uh, using that as fuel instead of using carbs as fuel. Now, there's tons of videos. I have a video down below that you can watch that opened my eyes to a whole lot of things. It's not my video, it's amazing, down below, and it's more scientific. I'm not scientific. All I know is if you don't give a cancer cell glucose, it starves and it goes away. Um, my father-in-law has been eating uh, very close to ketogenics and he has lowered his cancer situation. The doctor came in five weeks later after he was eating uh, low, low carbs, no sugar, and his cancer uh, status went from medium to mild. So they've taken surgery off the table and they said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it's working. That's all I know, guys. That's it. Am I going ketogenics? I don't know, probably not, but I can lean towards ketogenics and start eating things that won't hurt my body as much, like the recipe today. This hamburger bun, top and bottom, 2.2 carbs. And I've already tasted it somewhere else. It was amazing, and I'm trying to do it today on the show. Okay, so there's a lot on the table. The ingredients for making the bread is here. After we make the hamburger bun, we're gonna be doing a review on the KitchenAid meat grinder. We're gonna grind this meat, which I'm defrosting right now, and make hamburger meat out of it, and maybe mix in some pork fat and all that good stuff. I have no idea what we're doing on this video yet. All I know is this is today's video. And over here, I just had to show you because I was excited. This is from a company, uh, it's a product called Flame Boss. And what it does is, you guys know the new Kamado, the acorn Kamado I've been cooking on lately? Okay, and I said how I had trouble keeping the temperature and the vents working correctly. This takes care of it all. This is magic. This will keep the temperature of your Kamado automatically. And it even looks like I think it has an app for it too. So that I don't have to, I can walk away from the Kamado. This will take care of my food and I can be lazy again. That's another video coming up. Right now, let's go through all these ingredients. I've got almond flour meal, I've got psyllium husk powder, flax seed, ground up, coconut flour, baking powder, apple cider vinegar, eggs, and I forgot to add this in, onion powder. First thing we're going to do is put in all our dry ingredients. Everything that I just mentioned is going to go in, and I'm adding just a little bit of salt for flavor. You don't have to if you don't want to. Get it all mixed in. Now we're gonna go to our wet. Let's get our egg here. Just go ahead and break that yolk. I've got three egg whites and one whole egg in here. Gonna put this in here. Throw a little apple cider vinegar in there. Not long, count to about 15, 20 seconds, okay? And get this mixed up. So now that we've mixed it up, we're going to add a little bit of water in there. That's all lukewarm. Oh, it looks perfect. Put one here. Then just use your, I'm gonna steal a little bit of this. This one has a lot. Put it on this one. I'm just gonna get this all in the shape of a bun. And now that they're formed, we're gonna put them in the oven 50 minutes at 350 degrees. So let's go do that right now. Now I tested them with a toothpick. It only took 45 minutes, so I'm gonna adjust the time on the recipe. So what do you think? They look good, huh? Look at them. They're really heavy too, and the bottoms came out perfect. 
There we go. All right, I'm going to try this just to see how good it is. It's so weird to think that this whole bun has less carbs than one slice of bread. Here we go. It's bread. It's delicious. It's buttery. All right, now that I've tasted it, I've made it and all that, the only tip I'm going to give you is to press it down a little bit more. Widen the bun out. They're very high and puffy where I kind of want them flatter and a little wider so I can put a hamburger patty on there. Okay, guys, I don't know why there's a color difference. Same ingredients. Uh, I had to go in and make a second batch that looked more like hamburger buns. There it is. I'm going to make hamburgers on the next episode. I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.